Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to my channel. And I want to run over, run over. I want to go over a few housekeeping things. So, if you do not want to hear that, stick, click to this timestamp right here that will get you straight into the video. The first thing I want to say, as always, thank you all so much for the continuous love and support you continue to share show me. It means a lot. Uh, second thing is, there has been some new opportunities that are coming into my life, and I want to be able to do those things. And with all that, I'm going to have to scale back on my YouTube videos, which is fine. I feel like it should be quality over quantity, so I'm going to be giving you videos every Tuesday and Thursday, those are the best days for me. That way I can continue to give you quality content and not feel like I have to just push content out for the sake of doing it. I hope you all understand. I'm sure you do. Thank you, Jesus. These opportunities are coming, and I hope they stay. So let's get into the Q&A. A couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to send me questions, and I got a lot of good ones, and I'm going to run through every single question. So, if it, without further ado, here we go. All right, question number one. Do you have any inspirations? What keeps you going? And the next question they ask is, is there any merch on the way? Now, I did a double question because it's the same person. So the first part of that question is, do I have any inspirations? What keeps me going? Ugh. I mean, I have a lot. That's a hard question to answer because I feel like just living life is an inspiration. Um, my mom is an inspiration. Um, some of my family members our inspirations, shout out to Dessa. Hopefully she's watching this video. Probably not. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I wake up every day and I thank God that I'm still here. And I want to do as much as I can to make my family proud, make God proud, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot. She, uh, this person asked me about merch. Will there be merch? I hope there'll be merch in the future. I would love for there to be merch in the future. I have no idea what that merch would be, but yes, in the near future, there will be some. Hopefully, by this time next year or sooner. But as you know, a lot of stuff goes in, a lot of behind the scenes stuff goes into getting that stuff out. So, if you have any ideas of what kind of merchandise you would want, let me know. That would be awesome. What's your favorite musician? I don't have a favorite, I have so many. Uh, uh, musicians I like. I listen to just about anything with the exception of country music. Uh, I, so, I really can't answer that. I love all sorts of music. I love all sorts of people who make music. I can give you one of my favorites that comes to mind. Uh, I was listening, I was watching Titanic the other day, and I fell in love with Celine Dion all over again. My Heart Will Go On is probably one of my favorite songs, and it makes me cry every time I listen to it. Next question. Do you like K-pop? K-pop! Of course I like K-pop. K-pop is awesome. I'm don't ask me what kind of K-pop do I like, uh, do I like BTS, I don't know any of their names, I don't know who K-pop artists are, or, but if I hear the music and it's something that I like, I'll listen to it. That's basically how I feel about anything that happens that has to do with music. If I like it, I'll listen to it, I don't limit myself to one genre, it, it's, it's just it. 
next question. This is a two-parter for the same person. First question is, do you watch anime? Um, I don't watch anime as much as I used to. Of course, I'm a 90s kid, so I watched Sailor Moon all the time when I was a little kid. Uh, Pokemon, obviously, but that's, that's basically it. I haven't really been into anime or manga since high school, and that was a long time ago. This person also wants to know, what's your favorite food? Again, I handle my favorite food the way I handle what's my favorite musician. I like all foods, well, most foods, and I like almost all sorts of music. But I guess if I had to pick one, I really like pasta. Fettuccine Alfredo, spaghetti, any of that, that's my favorite. What do you think is the hardest thing for you to deal with because of your disability? For example, people's ignorance, lack of accessibility, etc. I don't think I'm disabled, number one. Even though society views me as disabled, I personally do not. I don't feel like I'm dealing with anything. I do not consider myself disabled. I do think that I have a few disadvantages, but I was raised to... If there's a will, there's a way. I always try to find a way, whether I figure it out myself, whether I ask somebody for help. I consider each difficulty in my life a roadblock or a problem that needs to be solved. So um, I don't want to say there's anything hard about it. I take everything as it comes, and I'm happy about it. Although I will say... People's ignorance does get on my nerves a lot, but I try not to let that move my day because that's just stupid. And as far as lack of accessibility, usually before I go any place new, I do my research on what's accessible and what's not accessible. And if there are things that are not accessible that I was told were, I advocate for myself. I make a big stink about it, especially if it's the establishment's fault. And usually an accommodation is made. It's all about how you handle people, and it's all about preparation. So I prepare for new things, and I'm not afraid to speak up for myself. What's your favorite sport? Basketball. By far, basketball is my favorite sport. Ball done. Don't even get me started. We'll even get like that. I do watch your entire videos. Just really could not think of a question. I have one though. What did? What made you decide to do YouTube? Um. What made me decide to do YouTube was kind of like a bet I made with one of my college roommates. We went to an Amy Schumer concert, an Amy Schumer stand-up show when I was in college, and when we were taking our seats, the usher kept asking my roommate, where does she, meaning me, want to sit? My roommate kept looking at him and saying, why don't you ask her where she wants to sit? He completely dismissed me and kept asking her where... I wanted to sit. Now, I was ready to explode, but my roommate grabbed my hand and said, this is not the time, this is not the place, we're here to do a good time, have a good time, I'll find us a seat, we'll talk about it later. So, I made a bet with my roommate that I was going to make a rant about what happened and see how many views it gets, and it got a lot of views. I think because I was just so angry and pissed off, and after I made the video, a lot of people said, I really resonate with this. Keep going. Keep doing it. And that's basically it. As you see, my channel has taken different forms over the years. I've been kind of wacky. I've been kind of a caricature of myself, which I don't appreciate that I did. I keep the videos up anyway as a reminder. And now I'm grown up and I've simmered down. And I'm all about just talking about life experiences and seeing how I can help anybody who is in need. What is your current relationship status? Do you think dating is more difficult for people with disabilities? First part of the question, I am single. 
do you think dating is more p- p- difficult for people with disabilities? I don't know how to answer that question because I don't have a lot of friends who are disabled. Um, I would assume that it. I would assume that it would be difficult just because, as a society, people who look like me would have other uh, limitations. We society is not brought up for people to be understanding, so I couldn't answer it. I do think things have gotten easier. I think people, as we progress in life, are becoming more acceptable. But honestly. I have to ask a few more people. I really think it's about how you handle yourself. If you look like you're upset, people are going to notice you're upset. If you look like you don't have confidence in yourself, people are going to look at you and know that you don't have confidence. I've been asked on several dates lately, especially since we've come out of the pandemic. Now, I don't know if that's because people think I'm drop-dead gorgeous, which I am, but people are so lonely, they're like, hey, I'll date anybody. Don't know. But I think as more awareness about disabilities come to light, the more open-minded people are becoming. I just recently found your channel. Thank you so much for your videos. If you want to talk about it, it would be really interesting in which accommodations you use to make your life more accessible. Sending love. Well, thank you. I don't mind talking about it. Um, there are two things, two rules that I live by because I can walk. Number one, because I'm so short, Back scratchers and hangers are the way to go. That way I can turn lights on and off. And step stools, a shit ton of step stools. I'm also in this wheelchair that elevates up and down. Um, those are the main two accommodations that I have. If anything can be lowered, that's great. If it can't be lowered, I'll use a step stool. And if I need to turn the light on or off, I use a hanger or I use a back scratcher. And that's basically it. Usually I would, I well, not always, but a lot of the time in my day, I'm with people who are nice and care. So I never really have to worry about it, which is a blessing. Thank you. Jesus. Would you ever make short daily videos of your opinion on what's trending? <laughs> I never really thought about it like that. Where would they go? Would they go on the YouTube shorts? Uh, I haven't really thought about it because a lot of the things that are trending are kind of stupid and small-minded. It's either who's sleeping with who, what bombshell dropped, something about Britney Spears, not that I don't care, but there are enough people that have their opinion and I don't need to saturate it and sound like everyone else. So I'll think about it, but I know that's what a lot of other people do, and I don't want to be other people. But if it's really important to me, I will talk about it. Can you tell What's your funniest memory or some or, or a really funny memory? I mean, it's not really funny. The rest of my family thought it was funny. I didn't think it was funny. But what happened was, three years ago, my family and I went to Disney World. And we went to Animal Kingdom. And one of the staff members was showing us pictures of... Uh, what do you call those things? The things with the, when they spread their wings out, I can't think of the name. I'm putting a picture right here, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Because we were in the bird sanctuary of Animal Kingdom. So one of the staff members was showing me a video of this particular bird and how they how they mate and how they show off for their partner when they're interested in someone. And I thought it was really cool. Anyway, we heard this noise, and I said, what's that? And the the worker, the staff member said, oh, it's the bird. Look up. And I woke up like this, and as soon as I looked up, this giant-ass bird pooped on my face, and it just slid down right here. I... 
was a shock. Like I said, I don't think it's funny that you ask any of my family members that were there. The moment I say bone poop, they immediately think of that, and they just start screaming and dying of laughter. Meanwhile, I'm stared, sitting there like this in shock because this bird has shit on me. My family is laughing so hard, they don't even help me. It took the staff member of the bird sanctuary, he went and got me paper towels and helped me clean up. My family's still laughing. By this time, the bird, the bird watcher staff member is laughing. As people walk by, they're laughing too. And I think... It, it, it was just, I think it was the timing that made it so funny. Because the moment he said, look up, that's what I've been pooped on. And also, for those of you who don't know, I get shat on by birds on the regular. Don't know what it is, but I'm always getting shit on by a bird. I hope it's good luck, and I am always getting good opportunities, so maybe, maybe there's something to it. So that's a funny memory. Looking back on it, I guess it's kind of funny. I didn't think so. What's your favorite movie or genre? Love your videos. Always very entertaining stories. Uh, I can't believe that happened to you. This was from another video. I'll put a link right here or right here so you can see what this individual is talking about. Um, my favorite genre of movie is horror. Love scary movies. Always love scary movies. Even if I knew it was going to give me a nightmare, still loved them. I really don't have a favorite movie because I'm constantly watching movies and I just can't pick one. It's like food and it's like music. I just, I can't pick one. Everything is just so great to me. And those are all of the questions. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it. If you noticed, I got a brand new microphone. Shout out to the Tragedy Academy. They are amazing. You'll learn about that as the months become. Anyway, no more shitty audio anymore. I'm so happy about that. Comment below if you think there's a difference in audio quality. I know there is, and I'm just so freaking happy. And with that being said, God bless. Thank you again. You'll see me on Thursday. Wear your masks. Get vaccinated, especially if you live in the U.S. And that's all I got. Bye.